Yo, what's poppin' everybody? Welcome to Tanner Does Tech, where tech swag and life just ain't the motto. It's pretty much the way things are done around here. So you guys know what time it is. Let's get that intro poppin'. Let's go. Chosen. What's good, everybody? What's good? What's good? It's the bad boy of tech, Dan Tanner. Yes, indeed. And man, I got some heat on deck for you guys today. Nah, it's not Tanner Tech News or nothing like that. This is a tutorial and everything, especially for those who own the Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. But basically, the same principle goes for any Android phone after a major update. Because a lot of people don't know that they should do this step, but it's very, very important and very, very vital to the life of your cellular device and your smartphone, people. Yes, indeed. What you have to do is, you have to wipe the cache partition. And in order to do it, you have to go to the system recovery screen. So I got a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus right here on deck. So I'm about to show you guys how to do it live. But for the device of your choice, whether if it's a, a ZTE uh, or whatever, you know what I'm saying, a Huawei or whatever, go ahead and look it up on YouTube, how to get to the um, device recovery screen so you can wipe the cache partition and make that happen. So I'm about to get to it. Here we go, let me show you what's up. All right, the first thing you wanna do is, you wanna make sure your device is completely off, right? Like so right there. Then you wanna press the, the volume up, the Bixby, and the power button at the same time on your S8 or S8 Plus. Yes, indeed. Hold it for a second until you see this right here. That blue Android with the spinning wheel, and it says installing system update, it's not doing that. What it's doing is, this is part of the process of you going to the device recovery mode. And when you see that, that damn triangle from hell right there, don't panic, <laughs> it's normal. Just relax and wait a couple of seconds for the real screen to pop in to where you wanna go so I can show you, so I can show you all where the magic happens. Here it is right here. You got a list of settings. The first one is reboot system now, but what you wanna do is, you wanna scroll down to where it says, wipe cache partition and what you want to do on your s8 s8 plus is hit that power button to, to select that then after that select yes scroll down to yes because this is very important this is what gets everything done bam there it is now reboot the system with the power button and your cache partition is clean it's just that easy people just a minute out of your time every time you got a major android update or a major system update on your phone this is this step right here is vital i'm telling you i'm telling you no doubt about it because what happens is when we get updates on phones even computers what it does is it layers programs on top of programs and everything so all the bugs that was in your in, in your previous version of your software your cell phone or whatever it's it's pretty much still there but that update just mask it and fix it or whatever but when you wipe your cache partition you wipe out all the bad old stuff and keep that new stuff and have your phone running like the device it was when you first bought it you know what i'm saying like a bentley like a panamera like a champ you know what i'm saying no doubt about it and another thing another thing about doing this wipe, wiping the cache partition and everything i do mine probably every month or so or whatever i just, just i just do it because i feel that you can't do it enough to keep your phone running like you need to run. But when you do that, you can also optimize the battery in your Android device. And how to do that is, the steps how to do that, I'm going to tell you. See, I told you I had some heat. And then the way to do that is, you just go ahead and charge your phone up to 100%. And for like five times in a row, let it run down to like 9% or 8% or like that. Then charge it up. You know what I'm saying? I advise that you do it like charge it up on airplane mode like four or five times or have your device off four or five times. But if you want to go ahead and leave your device on, that's cool and all. But for best results and optimizing and conditioning your battery, have that boy on airplane mode or have it off so it won't be no disturbances. So it's nothing but that, that frequency of electricity juicing up your battery and you get the optimum performance at your device. Also have your display settings right in the middle, I mean display brightness that is, have the settings right in the middle or a little bit before like 40% or something like that. And people, mark my word, 
you're going to notice the difference, a nice difference in your battery performance of your device. Because right now, I'm getting over a day easy, solid with this. And then when Nougat hit this device and I did that, people, this is a, six, <laughs> a, a S6 Edge. You know what I'm saying? This was known for bad battery problems. But when I did the battery conditioning on here, the battery, the battery performance lasted so much longer than before. So no, I'm not finessing you or nothing like that. I'm all about the actual factuals and I got to give it to you guys because that's what you deserve. No doubt about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But that just about does it for this one. So if you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give your boy a thumbs up because I appreciate that. You know what I mean? And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel to feel the whole swag and madness of Dan Tanner, huh, do that too because I appreciate that too. All right, everybody. Get money, get respect, and enjoy your tech. Be easy. You dig.